And welcome back everyone to What If, and today it is part 10, and by the way, X is a Roman numeral for 10, so 10, of What If Tsunade had not the Naruto. So last time the Naruto What If Orochimaru had been defeated, his soul trapped away by the Shinigami, but Sarutobi Sensei had fallen, once, uh, and befitting his one such a, <laughs> and befitting such one, what was it? At such an end befitting of one who uh, called himself uh, Shinobi or something, Okage. Meanwhile, uh, Hinata and Sasuke put their up their best effort against Gara, but all for naught until Naruto showed up. And last we left off, he, drew, he uh, threw himself into battle to take on the crazed Tanuki. So that's where we left off. Naruto and Gara were about to do that, and Naruto charged in. So that's that's where we're, you know, starting up, where Naruto's coming in, and he's already created a couple clones. He's got his Win scalpel, uh, wind chakra scalpels already up there, you know, and so they're duking out. Unfortunately, Gar's defenses are pretty tough, uh, so he's not going to be able to get in a really solid hit at this moment. Uh, however, what it what is uh, most uh, what is certain is that with the QB chakra in him, he's able to go at least semi toe to toe with him. He's not in a tail stay or anything, but he's got ch base QB chakra in him. Gar is like, you, you, yeah, that's right, show me what you have, Naruto Uzumaki! And, you know, he tries to grab Naruto, but Naruto kind of just, you know, does a, uh, you know, that whole thing where he just <laughs> dodge, he keeps sliding in, and just basically increases the amount of chakra he's got. That being said, chakra scalpels do require finite control at some level, so by increasing chakra, you are uh, losing some of the control, but he's, he basically you know, stabs in the guard's arm, just travels straight down, <clears throat> That, that won't work! And all of a sudden, Naruto, he realizes Naruto just did that to get close and is like, How about this? Tornado Fist! I'm doing the Jin accent, by the way. Tornado Fist Explosion! By the by, I think I explained this last time. A traverse, the difference between a Tornado Fist and a Tornado Fist Explosion is as such. The normal Tornado Fist, when you throw the punch, Tornado comes out. You get caught in it, you're going to get some damage under you, you get thrown back, all that. Tornado Fist Explosion, I have to go Jin every time I say it, just because it's amazing when he says it. Yeah, his beautiful Irish accent. Oh. Uh, so, you know, he's basically, in Naruto terms, because uh, you'll sometimes in um, Yu Yu Hakusho see his fist, like the inner inside of the tornado around his fist glowing. That's basically like extra spiritual, like demon energy and stuff like that. In this case, Chakra is like being uh, concentrated right into around the fist and the forearm. And you're going basically for, for a point-blank punch, like a straight-on punch. So you get the explosive effect of the chakra combined with the tornado that's being created under hand for the explosion! So, explosion! Boof! And Gar just goes... Uh, uh, he did. That chip had that power. He barely wounded me, but still, in this form, how is he so strong? What makes him so strong? And they just sees Naruto... Shadow multi shadow clone jokes so hundreds of clones that's it. Huh? Futon! Shadow clone shuriken! Uh, uh, well, Futon and Chad, Futon, great break! Shadow shuriken jutsu! And then, or shadow clone shuriken jutsu. <laughs> He's basically, it's basically raining fast uh, bits of shrapnel and metal. <laughs> it's like, you will play! And all of a sudden, a bunch of Naruto's with this, their tornado fist. <laughs> Boom! Explosion there, and the and then Sasuke and Hinata, who are who are conscious, they didn't lose conscious. The Naruto clones are still healing them up. You know, Sasuke, his wounds are more superficial, though he still needs, he's suffering mostly from chakra exhaustion. Hinata's arm is pretty badly beat up, though. Fortunately, Naruto's at least able to kind of do some first aid, and at least keep it, um, basically make a makeshift splint and keep you know the healing chakra on it, however slow it might be, because it's not really a specialty. He learned it because of his mom. And so he'll always get a little bit better, but comparatively to Tsunade, he'll never stack up. Uh, it's like, is it over? <sighs> no, and all of a sudden, Naruto just hears the voice, Not to you. No, not to him. There's no way I'm going to lose to a guy like him! And then, <laughs> uh, I thank you, Naruto Uzumaki. Now die! And then Naruto's like, oh, and he sees the sand coming. No! Uh, Crap, and then you I really got chakra, but he still got cubic chakra, and so he's just like, summoning jutsu! <laughs> what the hell am I doing here? Dryer? Where are you? Uh, and then Naruto, uh, uh, sorry, I had to, sorry, I couldn't, uh, I didn't have time to think of a specific, uh, specific toad. I said, who are you? Who are you? 
Say, I'm Naruto's a monkey. Naruto, never heard of you. Wait a minute. Oh, you're right. You did say we had a new summoner. But to think a little brat like you is it? And they're just like, Who are you calling brat? You blood old. How dare you talk to me that way? I ain't the boss, Chief Toad. Lord Gamabunta. <laughs> it's like, ah, what? Why? Why? Why did you even summon me, brat? Oh. Shukaku the Sand Spirit. Yeah, yeah, I need your help. But he's going, uh, he's going rampant. <clears throat> uh, he's crazy. I almost had him, but then he turned into this. Uh, you, do Brett, oh, couldn't you be? Oh, couldn't you tell what's going on? That's the one-tailed beast, Shukaku the Sand Spirit, a being made of entirely of sand and entirely of sand and sanity. Yeah, and then he explains the whole guards like, uh, it, the. While the hostess, it slowly eats away at your psyche. So, because, since he never gets much sleep, he, <laughs> he's always in a constant state of paranoia. Uh, or whatever, I can't remember the exact line. So, uh, uh, so you gonna help me or not? Why should I all get messing around with a guy like that? Because, please, I summoned you! It's like, look! And, uh, and then Naruto briefly mentions that. It's like, you held my great You held my- you held, uh, uh, pervy sage and which- <laughs> Yeah, that does fit him. And my dad back in the day. Your dad? Wait. And then he actually takes a moment to. Uh, 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 uh. You're his boy. Oh, so Minato's son lives after all. That would mean also that you are. Yeah, that's right. I'm the. That's right. I've also got. The, I've got the nine-tailed fox in me. But I'm. Not, but that's not important right now. I don't care that I'm the nine-tailed fox. Dear dear, I'm Naruto Uzumaki, or Senju Uzumaki, that's who I am! And he just sees what I was looking, the look of conviction in his eye. And he says, hmm, he really does take after you, Minato, doesn't he? And then all of a sudden, very well. <laughs> yeah, I give you permission to be my summoner. Of course, when this is over, we'll have to seal the deal with a cup of sake. It's like, I'm not old enough to drink, you're old enough to die, boy, you're old enough to drink. And even get laid if you so choose. <laughs> Meanwhile, but right now I think we have more important things. <laughs> uh, not uh, come, those up, Naruto Uzumaki, and then you know he just slice him. Mm, pretty, he he's really he that was heavy. I bar was barely able to make that cut. Not bad. And then play possum jutsu. Ugh. He's done it with him being asleep. I finally free. Sh and then Shikaku's out. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Let's do this. Uh, hang on tight, kid. Uh, uh, wait, uh, I've still got chakra. I go. No, unless you've got. A, no, unless your unless your elements win. Don't bother. It is wind. Really? The fight of your chakra as much as you got in me. Uh, then uh, and he, he, using the uh, combination of what he's got left of the fox and his wind style. You know, it falls, it falls in. It's like mm, kids got kids got potential. Man, wind bun. <laughs> Uh, collaboration art! Toad Hurricane Bullet! Boo! Instead of just a standard water bullet, uh, you know, three, uh, like, spears are just rotating, with, like, storm coming out of his mouth. Just, not like lightning or thunder, but just whirl, a cavalcade of whirlwinds, and they crash together. But because of the uh, unpredictable torrent of nature of a storm, it actually does, you know, by, the water itself is able to bypass the wind as the winds counteract each other. And just, ah, got you! And then, you know, he comes in again with a knife and cuts up his eye. Oh, come on! You know how hard it is to regrow one of those? And he's, not that hard if you're me! <laughs> All of a sudden, you're, you know, a gun boot is like, shut up! Because <laughs> he's still got a hand. Well, frog can, but it's a hand nonetheless. So you'd imagine they could actually throw a punch. Oh, that the best you got, you toad? No, but he... No, the best I've got is him. <laughs> it's like, what? What? And all of a sudden, Kashikaku realizes, Hey, how are you gonna wake the hell up? Oh, no, you don't! <laughs> oh, well, you, I don't have any chakra left! Boom! Duh. Oh, come on, I just got here! Yeah. He, he disrupted my jutsu! <sighs> uh, not bad, kid, not bad. Uh, uh, but I want, don't have much time left here. I'm almost out of chakra myself. You've got to, you've got to end it, kid. Uh, he, 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 and basically, now just says, "I'm out of, ch I'm out of my chakra. I need just one more. Pick me up." He's like, "I'll crush you," because he's still caught. He starts to get crushed. Uh, Naruto basically just, uh, with a little chakra, it, uh, strength he has left, and the cube strength just. Uh, 
uh, wedge dial, uh, how do I say it? Burning weight cross, poof. Not enough, it, it's hardly enough to like cut Gar in half, but it's enough to just knock him straight out of the Shukakas man, just bam, and knock the wind right out of him, blood coming out. And basically they go crashing down on the ground, or they land in the tree and then, you know, Gambuta goes, they have to square up and just boom, and then Naruto knocks him out. So it's like, ugh. How, how could I lose? I won't. I, I won't cease to exist. I won't. And then, no, stay back. And then, now Naruto's speech to Gar here would not be the same because he hasn't had the same experiences that the Naruto in the original did. He hasn't experienced what it's like to be lonely or anything like that. But at the same time, something about being still a Jinchuriki of the Kyubi and still being looked at differently on some level, he can relate to that. So, you know, it's it hurts, doesn't it? This burden of feeling different, like you're a monster. I may, I had a family. I can't say what it's like. I, I had a mother who loved me. I found friends. I can't say I know what it's like, been completely like for you, but I know what it's like to be different. To feel like everyone hates you for some reason. Feel like people hate you for some reason. And then to let maybe think, well, should it, or to have it almost consume you. I understand that, but you have, you still have your brother and your sister, you still have family, you can have friends. I, I could be your friend. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Something like, because no one deserves to be alone. We all, we all deserve, that we all deserve someone who cares about us. Um, and, but again, he also says, and if, if that doesn't work, if you th keep uh, uh, if you stand against me still and threaten those I love, I will not hesitate to kill you. And then, uh, why would you go this far? Uh, and then you know the whole, I, I kind of mix that up, but yeah. And then you know I could be, and then you know they come in, Sasuke comes in, and you know it all, you know it's all working, it's okay. You know it's, he has fine, I'm fine, everyone's fine. It's like, oh, that's that's good. Ugh. Um. So they go back to the village, and now we're dealing with the aftermath. You have the funeral of Saratobe, Sar or uh, the third Okage, you have of Saratobe, and you have to deal with the aftermath now. Now you have they asked Jiraiya initially to be the Okage because he was there and he had, it was a Kage level a ninja. But here's the thing: it's like, why did you try asking Tsunade? It's like, well, I mean, I we considered it, but we really doubt she would have taken it. And you assumed I would. Well, uh, there's that too, uh, to which, you know, Donzo, I mean, Donzo wasn't there, but Donzo, they, they, I think they asked Tsunade to come to, like, the meeting room. It's like, yeah, uh, you know, otherwise, in Tsunade, uh, Jiraiya, we asked Jiraiya, but he did not wish to become a ninja of our, uh, or become the Hokage. Uh, you and, uh, you and him are really the only other, uh, only two options we have. Uh, I'm, there, though, if neither of you, uh, if you, both of you truly refuse, we might be able to find another uh, option. And then Sonata actually raises like, no, I'll take the job. No, truth be told, even though I, I can't prove it, Saratobi and the last, his, Saratobi Sensei, in his last moments, imparted on me the, um, um, imparted to me the words that, you know, my time, and, you know, flashback there's like, Tsunade, my time is, my time, uh, uh, my generation's time is over. Let your generation lead the new one into a bright and prosperous future. <clears throat> I, while it was not official, and while no one, well, only one here could prove it is Enma, because that's it. Enma's the only one there who could have honestly heard them and how they're going to summon Enma. And no one else in the, we know Kamahamaru, Konohamaru actually did get the monkey contract, but um, how exactly uh, they would have gotten him, yeah, we have no idea. So, yes, I, Tsunade, send you. I, the Senju clan, do take up the role and mantle of Hokage. It's like, mm, very well. And so, it's, uh, not, uh, Naruto finds out, but this, oh, mom, you're awesome. This is awesome. Uh, it's like, sweet. And they're all sitting in the hospital. Again, Sasuke pretty much is okay at this point. He was just suffering from chakra exhaustion. Naruto took some lickings, so a little bit of licking. So, he's going to be sitting out for a little bit. And Hinata's going to probably, you know, She'll probably be able to leave the hospital within a few days, but she won't be able to do anything to her arm fully here. He, yeah, hears, heals. So, you know, uh, you know um, so, sweet mom, you're okay, awesome. I, my mom's a little Kage, sweet. And then, you know, I say, like, quiet. Ah, mom. 
It's like, yes, I'm the Okage, but you realize that you realize what that means, right? You can't just call me Kachen or mom in this case. You got to call when uh, when we're uh, in office, when I call you to missions, you have to call me ho the Hokage. You have to call me Lady Hokage. You understand? Oh, but I, I always hated the formalities. They, I do too, but that's the rules. And, you know, while Sarjo, while Sarjo with Sensei may get allowed that to get away or may allowed you to get away with that, I sure shouldn't. Uh, so it's like, oh, fine. Oh, uh, relax. One day you'll get to do that too. It's like, yeah, you know, it's, that's right. Because one day I'm going to be a Hokage just like my dad and now like my mom. And that just kind of puts a little bit of a warm feeling in her. She's like, hmm. It's like, all right. I was like, oh, I'm going to leave you two lovebirds alone. What? Oh, um, <laughs> uh, it's, oh, you know, Jiraiya told me about your little tete-a-tete -tete before the tournament. So I think you two have some things to talk about, Sasuke. Is like, Sasuke, you're free to come too. <laughs> to a Sasuke's like, oh, yeah, to which Naruto and Yaya are blushing now. Um, <clears throat> uh, and so now they're just sitting there in silence. Just, um, uh, how's your arm? Uh, so not, Lady Sunani said it'll be good. Uh, sh should be good in a week or two, but I, I can't do, do much strenuous activity at the moment. Um... Are you okay? Oh yeah, yeah. With um, you know, with with my heritage and everything, and healing my healing, I'll be good to go in a little while. And it's um, and then Naruto's just <clears throat> so. When you get out of here, your arm might be in a cast, but when you get out, you want to do do something. Well, like, well, well. And then she's like, she realizes what he's asking, but she wants to hear him, hear it from him. Well, like, what? Spend time with our friends or something? Uh, my Hinata sucks. I know that. Or spend time with our friends or something? Uh, I was thinking more you and me to go out and to get and get maybe food and to walk or something. And he's, he's, and she's, so he's like, he's asking me out. Just say the damn words. Say the damn words. Uh, and you can see too, it's like, oh my God, he's adorable when he's flustered. He almost, he's almost never flustered. The fact that he's flustered is adorable. Um, so uh, are you asking me out on a date? It's like, uh, Yes, will you go? Uh, yeah, um, yes, will you go on a date with me? Mm, yes. <laughs> so I was like, uh, uh, okay. Um, just, just let me. Uh, just uh, have mom let me. Know. I'll stop in every day to see you. Just let me know about that. And, uh, so let me know about um, you know, when you get out and we can maybe set something up. Yeah. Okay. Um. Bye. <laughs> uh. Oh, obviously he's still in the hospital, but yeah. Um. So we cut to Itachi and Kasami looking over the damage now. Here's the thing. They were looking over damage before Jiraiya took Naruto out of the village. No, now, Jiraiya doesn't have a specific reason to take Naruto out of the village at the moment. But he was still sticking around at that time. So, we know he's still in the village. Naruto's in the village. So, cut to a couple days later. Um, <clears throat> Hinata's, got to, Hinata's got to stay in the hospital just a bit longer than Naruto. So, he's out and about. Uh, and then, while Hinata... Sorry. While Tsunade is sitting at her desk, she gets a message for a... Uh, from an... Uh, a request from a village, a mission, and it has a member, it has Naruto's name on it, so, uh, it's like, uh, you know, um, he, she says, you know, ask Jiraiya to bring Naruto here right now, find Jiraiya, or find Naruto, bring, and bring them both here, or, or, uh, you know, bring Jiraiya here for a moment, and Jiraiya looks it over, and like, hmm, interesting, it might give me a chance to get a little bit more time with the kid, oh, uh, trying to make up for last time, and Jiraiya, because, like, mm. oh, I mean, uh, look, I, I'd be lying if I said, <laughs> I'd be lying if I said no. Uh, so, uh, um, and she basically goes to find dry, uh, Naruto. It's like, Naruto, guess what? You got a mission. What? What? But I, I got a date with Hinata in the plans. Like, oh, there'll be plenty of time with that afterwards. We got about a week and she's still recovering. So, uh, don't worry about that. Uh, well, at least I got to let her know that. It's like, no, oh, that's fine. Now, come on. We got to go see your mom. Uh, we got, we got to go see the Okai. Okay. Hi, Ma! Kage sama It's like, <clears throat> nice catch there, brat. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so, we have a request from a new, uh, a recently start, uh, from a new village that's recently starting up. We want you to, and they're asking for you specifically. Apparently, you've had some dealing with them in the past. So, yeah. Uh, so, and, you know, uh, wait, where is it? Uh, yeah, I think you've had a mission in the past here. It's from the land, it's from, uh, the land, uh, of, or land of waves. Land of waves? I mean, where have I, and he's like, wait, you mean, uh, that's right, uh, the, apparently there's a new ninja village being started out there, and the, ka the self-appointed Kage of the village is asking for your help, uh, or is asking for, uh, an alliance between us, uh, and he asked for you, he asked for you, or a member of Team 7 specifically, Sasuke's off with Kakashi at the moment somewhere, don't know where, and, 
is uh, still in the in the hospital, so it's basically on to you. But fortunately, Dry Ears offered to take you along. That's right, don't worry, kid. While we're along, we'll get some good training in. It's like sweet. And so you know, packs up, says goodbye to Hinata, and they're off. Uh, now that whole the, now the whole sh scenario with Kisame and Itachi and the rest of them does go about the same, except for the fact that. Um, he, Tsunade does almost get involved, and when they hear Tsunade's still in the village, um, excuse me, that she, and that she took over the role as Kage, uh, they, they realize, okay, we need to get out of here now. We are not prepared to take on Tsunade. <laughs> um, now granted, they, you could actually make an argument that they might go about their plan differently knowing there's still a Hokage in the village. Um, and specifically a Sanin in the village. But at the same time, they were being pretty covert about it. But in the end, yeah, let's assume it goes the same. So now we're dealing with Jiraiya and Naruto training while the Itachi and Kisame are on their tail, going to a village hidden by hidden in this hidden in, not the hill in Mist Village, but the land hidden in the bridge or the hidden bridge bridge village. Um, so we're gonna leave it off there right now. Going to see an old friend. Wonder who it could be. I wonder who I left alive in one arc. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know we'll do a review of it at some point. Now, ideas for who would win, Star Wars, Superhero Magic, what if, anything under the channel, put that in the comments below as well. I'll get to that at some point. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.